I'm Jamili Hassan. I'm here at Open Sesame. I'm delighted to be here in Kitchener, in front of Kitchener City Hall. And I'm an artist and activist from London, Ontario. And I've been invited to have this great opportunity to participate in this public art program. I was born in London, Ontario, and uh, my parents uh, established themselves in London, Ontario. My father came ahead in, believe it or not, 1914 just before the First World War and um, did all those different jobs that uh, young immigrant fellows do, uh, working his way to London. And it um, turned out that one day I found out that one of my early studios had been one of the locations of one of his first jobs where he rolled cigars. I really, really enjoy doing site-specific projects. I really like the opportunity to challenge myself in different locations. And one of the things about site projects is that the space has to be hospitable. It has to be a kind of space where people gather and think about what are the issues of the day. And this is obviously the case here in this plaza, outside this window, there are people playing chess. Um, it's raining, but there are, there's this canopy, so they're able to um, be protected from the, the climate when it's not uh, so agreeable to be out in front of the plaza. I love the fact that there's this basin. So a lot of my projects actually do respond to the idea of place, location, history, geography, identity, questions around um, the way people communicate with each other. Language has been a very significant part of my work and not only Arabic language but other ways that people communicate with each other symbols, uh, metaphor, parables, those are all really present in a lot of my work. I've been working in quite a bit with the Arabic alphabet. I grew up with Arabic in my home in London, Ontario. My grandmother moved to London when, uh, coming from Lebanon, um, when I was born. So I actually had formative years um, listening to Arabic, hearing Arabic. And so Arabic kind of came back into our family because of the period of time where my mom's mom came and her brother and later on her sister and family. I mean, I think that the relationship of having Arabic in a public space is uh, our Arabic letter or the text, uh, it, you know, it's obviously very commonplace in the Arab world, but not so commonplace in our situation in downtown whatever, downtown London, Ontario or downtown Kitchener, Waterloo, so, or Kitchener, how I, I guess, you know, the two together here, you know, the Kitchener. Um, so my piece uh, looks at the letter Kaf, which is a lovely kind of connection to Kafka. And so it is um, a letter that, as um, Gordon referred to it as sort of like an inverted L. And uh, it's very um, simple, evocative letter. It has some beautiful associations. It also means to create, and it, it signifies that, um, and is in keeping with a number of the root, uh, root verbs that have to do with creating. So I thought that was a very nice relationship to artists and production, creative production, and the relationship to you know, space and thinking about what public art is about. But it also, it will be in the letter green, um, and you know, and that's uh, ecological consideration and consideration and the idea of uh, a, a kind of utopian paradise is green. That's the color it's associated with in um, Islamic culture. Uh, the work will be realized uh, in green neon. I've worked with neon uh, for a number of years now. The first piece that I worked with in neon uh, goes back to a project that I did where I was really just thinking about the, how things change and how do we think about our relationship to reading and text and a particular manuscript uh, had inspired this work with Neon. And then I went on from working with the particular manuscript onto this relationship of like, well, what is it like to see Neon in public space that's Arabic? It's a different calligraphy, it's a different alphabet. How do we, how do we come to um, possess it? How do we come to understand it? How do we relate to it? So those are all very interesting questions, I feel, that provokes an audience and bring, brings an audience into questioning, well, wh what is that 
large scale Arabic letter kaf doing on the facade, uh, you know, spaced on the um, um, kind of, I guess you would call that the, the particular space uh, that is almost an in-between space. There's five sort of spaces there um, with the columns. So the facade will be illuminated by this um, letter green, the letter kaf. This is very exciting for me. As I said earlier, I really enjoy working in public spaces. Uh, I have a, obviously I love working in spaces, in gardens, in nature, and I've done projects in those locations as well. Uh, but I really like the way that art in a public space, if it's well done, is a, a, an opportunity for the larger public to encounter the work, to get excited by the work, to want to know more about contemporary art.